Hello, welcome to sixth grade, chapter 12, lesson six. We're going to go ahead and get started. Before we do really fast, I just want to refresh your memory on what mean, median, and mode are. So the mean, the average, is where you add up all of the numbers that you're given and then divide by the, num by the amount of numbers that you have. So if I give you two, three, and four, you're going to add those up to what equals 12. Then you're going to divide that by three because I gave you three numbers, okay? The median is the number that's in the middle. So if you line up the numbers, if I give you four, two, and three, you would line them up as two, three, and four. And then the three would be the median because it's in the middle, okay? Most is the number you see most often. So if I give you two, three, four, three, four, three, then your three would again be your mode because you have three of them um, where you only have either one or two of the others. Okay, so we'll get that a little bit more as we go through. Okay, so let's find the median of our data. So we need to line them up in number order. Okay, so six, eight, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so now the median is gonna be the number in the middle where there's five of them to so the third number. There we go. Now, what is the mode of that data? Well, all the numbers only appear one time, okay? So that means there is no mode. Because if there was one mode, they would all be the mode, okay? Suppose Blaine played a sixth game and scored 10 points during the game. Find the new mean, median, and mode. Well, that would add us another 10 points, okay? So now, Let's find the mean first, okay? So six, eight, 10, 10, 11, and 12. I probably should have lined those up the other way, but that's okay. So six and eight is 14, plus one is 15, plus two is 16, carry the one. One, two, three, four, five. So 56 divided by one, two, three, four, five, six numbers, okay? So six times nine is 54. I think that's gonna be as close as we can get, okay? We're gonna add a zero, bring it down, okay? Six goes into 20. Oh, I didn't bring my decimal up. Three times, three times six is 18. We would have two left over again, okay? So now your Did I have that up wrong? Okay, 14, 15, 15. oh, 17. Uh-oh, guys, that should have been a seven which would have given me 30. Sorry, my bad guys, okay? So now this would be a five. Sorry guys, okay? When I added this up, I miscalculated it would have been 57. So if I put 57 in the box, then six goes into that still nine times, which is 54. And then it would give me three left over, bring down my zero and Six goes into 35 times. So my new mean is 9.5, okay? Okay, now if I line them up, my median, okay? Well, even if I squeeze that 10 in there, I would still have tens in the middle. So the median is still gonna be 10, okay? Now, lastly, our mode. Well, the one we see the most is 10. There we go, okay? All right. An auto manufacturer wants their line of cars to have a median gas mileage of 25 miles per hour or higher. The gas mileage for their five models is 23, 25, 26, 29, and 19. Do their cars meet their goals? Explain. Okay. I'm just going to draw a line. Okay. So we have 
23, 25, 26, 29, and 19. We're going to add those up. Okay? So, 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 9 is 25, plus 9 more is 34. Carry our 3. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 2 is 7, plus 2 is 9, plus 2 is 11, plus 1 is 12. So, now I have 124 inside the box, and I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. Okay? So, 5 is not going to go into 1. It'll go into 12. 2 times. 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract. Get 2. Okay. 2 is smaller than 5, so I'm going to bring down my 4. 5 goes into 24. 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20. Subtract. Get 4. Now, I'm going to add a decimal and a 0 and bring that 0 down. And 5 goes into 40 8 times. So, 8 times 5 is 40, subtract, get 0. So, their average, or their mean, is 24.8. Okay? So, no. Oh, gosh, guys, it was asking for the median. Ah, okay. So, the median. Sorry, my bad. Ignore that. Okay, I'm going to line these up in order from least to greatest. Okay, 23, 25, 26, and 29. Okay, so the middle one, which is the median, is 25. So, yes. Sorry about that. I thought it said mean. Yes. The median gas range is 25. Okay. Okay. Let me go ahead and a new piece of paper. Okay. A sporting goods store is featuring several new bicycles priced at 300, 250, 325, 780, and 350. They advertise that the average price of their bicycles is under 400. Is their ad correct? Explain. Okay. So now we do have to add them up and divide by the number of them. Okay. So 300, 250, 325, 780 and 350. Okay, we're going to add those up and then we are going to divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so 5, 7, 15, 20, carrier 2, 2, 5, 7, 10, 17, 20. Okay, now five is not gonna go into two, but it will go into 20 four times, 420. Now, I'm gonna bring that zero down, but it's gonna be zero. Then I'm gonna bring that five down. Five goes into five one time. For five, subtract, get zero, okay? So 401, so it says, it's. Um, they advertise the average price of their bicycles is under 400. Is their ad correct? Well, no. Their mean or average is 401. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to go on to the bat where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and do the spiral review. Okay. Okay. So what is the surface area 
sorry, you guys can't see that. What is the surface area of the triangular prism shown below? Okay, well, so we're gonna have a 25 by 15. And we're gonna have one, two, three of those. Okay, then we're gonna have nine by 12 and we need to cut that in half. Okay, length times width divided by two. And there are two of those, okay, one on either side, which is good news for us because when it's divide by two, multiply by two, it just means you can cancel them out, okay? They're polar opposites of each other. It's like saying if you have three cookies and then you take three cookies away, you got zero, okay? Okay, so. We're gonna go ahead and do 25 by 15. Actually, I know that three times 15 is 45. Eh, I know that three times 25 is 75. And I'm gonna multiply that by 15, okay? I did three times 25 and then I'm multiplying it by 15, okay? So five times five is 25, carry the two. Five times seven is 35 plus two is 37. Okay, we're gonna tick, tack, toe, and one times 75. Add those up. 1125. Then I'm gonna do nine times 12, okay? All right, so nine times two is 18, carry the one. Nine times one is nine, plus one is 10. Okay, so now just got to add up these two. Five plus eight is 13, carry the one. One plus two is three, two, and two. So 2,233 centimeters squared. Okay, all right, we're gonna go down and do number four. It says Kate records the number of miles that she bikes each day. She displayed the number of daily miles on the plot, dot plot below. Each dot represents the number of miles she biked in one day. How many days did she bike four to seven miles? So, how many dots are there in that box? Well, three, four, five, six, seven, seven days. We didn't even do number five. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay. Six people eat breakfast together at a restaurant. The cost of their orders are four, five, nine, eight, six, and ten. If they want to split the check evenly, how much should each person pay? All right, that one's easy. Okay. Four plus five is nine, plus nine is 18, plus eight is 26, plus six is 32, plus 10 is 42. So 42 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, 6 times 7 is 42. So $7. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out for 12.6. Come on back for 12.7. See you soon.